What's up guys, back for another tutorial. Today we will be covering editing and yeah, basically the basics of putting your footage together and coming up with a final result for YouTube. Um, we are going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro. You can either download the trial from Adobe's website, I'll put a link in the description, or there are other means of downloading it that I do not advocate. So, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro CS 5.5, CS 6 works too, but it's a little bit buggy for me, so I'm just going to stick with 5.5 because that's what I know, even though it's not that much difference. Um, but yeah, let's open it up down here. And basically what we're going to be going over right now is just setting up uh, your project. So new project, choose where you want to save it. Let's make a new folder, call this one editing. Save it in here, call it project editing as well. Alright, so now you may be looking at all these things like what if, uh, like what do I choose? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of options. So but you gotta look at what your camera records in. So ours shoots AVC HD, so we go AVC HD, then you choose your frame rate that you're shooting at. Most DSLRs will shoot 60, 30, or 24. Um, unless you're in Europe, it's gonna be 25 and 50. But if you're here in America, in a lot of the world, it's gonna be 24 and 30 and 60 frames per second. Um, even if you have 60 frames per second footage, we recommend 30 frames per second editing. Just works easier for YouTube. Um, yeah, but there's a whole ton of settings. You can even work with like red camera and stuff, which is like 4 or 5K, which is insane. Um, but we are going to stick to what we know, and this should work for all of you. Choose 1080p or 720p, depending on what your footage is. And yeah, 1080p 30, pretty basic right there. So, you may be looking at this whole layout like, what the heck, where is everything? And it may not look the same as mine, because you can actually customize it by moving stuff around and, and all. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back from that little fiasco, and as you can see, moving stuff around doesn't always work out to your advantage, because it can be crazy. So, just leave it how it is. Um, but yeah, basically down here you got a timeline where you drag your footage in, you have effects up here, video effects, cool stuff, um, effect controls once you have some footage in here, and the monitor where you put it all together. So, let's import some footage. File, import, find your footage. I'm just going to use this clip of Cullen there next to a tree. And yeah, now it's in this little guy right here. And all you gotta do is drag it onto your timeline. And as you can see, it brings in audio and video. Okay. And this is a clip that was used in our past tutorial where I film Cullen. And it looks cool. So, let's work with this clip here. You can zoom in down here to get a better look at your full clip. And you can drag the clip to whatever length you want by doing that, shorten it out. So that's pretty cool. You can also grab the cut tool here and just cut it up. But we're not going to do that because we want, we want Colin not to be cut up. <laughs> up here in the effects controls, we have our motion controls, we can scale them up, scale them down, but we don't recommend doing this because you're losing video quality when you do scale up. Um, rotate, you can do a lot of cool things. You can change the position of him. Left, right, up, down. And opacity, you can change how bright he looks. So that's pretty cool. One thing that you're going to be working a lot with in Premiere Pro once you get more in advanced in editing is keyframes. Now, you may not know what a keyframe is, it may sound very strange to you, but I promise you they're simple. Let's look at this clip, for example. We see Cullen here. Let's say we want it to fade in. We go here on the opacity. We set it to zero. Make sure that this first will delete the watch. Make sure this little set to zero. Make sure this little watch is clicked at time zero. Now we're going to move forward. Let's say to about there. Now we're going to change the opacity back to 100. And now what we have just created is that over time, the clip will have brightened up from okay. about, let's say, what is that, like 7 seconds or something? 
from opacity 0% to 100%. And obviously, this can be done with more than just the opacity. It can be done with a bunch of effects. You can move it around, the scale and everything, even the video effects. So you're going to want to get used to using keyframes when you're editing. Another way to do this is down here for the opacity. It's quite easy. You can just drag down there and mess around with that. As well as with the sound, you can change the amount of decibels okay. coming out of it by messing around down here with the audio levels. As you can see, I have now cut this clip up into two different parts, two different shots here. So what we can do between these two shots is add some transitions. Say a dissolve, like a cross dissolve, you know, classic cross dissolve. Fades from one clip to another. However, I prefer just the straight cut. And that's how you get that. We can also mess around with audio transitions to make the like the shots seem more smooth and seamless when you are cutting. It makes it seem like it's just one scene rather than when there's like an abrupt change in the audio. So it sounds a lot better, even though you can hear me saying go there. But it does sound a lot better. All right, so now you're done editing your footage and you're ready to export. So one thing you're going to make sure of is this bar right here controls what you're going to render. So make sure that, that is going to, from the beginning to the end of your clip. That is your work area. So usually we'll just lock on there. So that is the part that we want to render. We will go to File, Export, Media. Give that a second to pop up. There it is. All right. So for YouTube, I've been experimenting, and I believe the best quality to upload to YouTube, which is very compressed and easy to upload, is H.264. And then you can choose a custom preset, say, well, ours is 1080p30. I usually choose one of these HDTV presets. So we'll go 1080p30. We will save it. And the output, output, we'll save it where we want. Call it editing tutorial test. Save it there. We will. The only tab we really have to worry about here is video. Uh, everything else is fine. Let's go down here. Let's make this a little bigger. There we go. So you're going to make sure that your pixels are right. For 1080p footage, you will want 1920 by 1080. For 720p footage, it is 1280 by 720. Next thing you want to check is the frame rate. Make sure that, that is 29.97, not 30, 29.97. And if you're shooting 24 frames, make sure it is this one right here. You never do the actual frame because the cameras actually do shoot in 29.97. They just lie to you. So everything else should be fine here. For best quality, click render a maximum depth. Death, death. Ha 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 ha. Render ah. at maximum depth. <laughs> you don't want to render at maximum depth, yes. And for this bitrate, this will basically control how much footage you are compressing into the file. So we usually do constant bitrate. And I for YouTube I usually just mess around with 24. Um, I believe a lot of people do less, but I believe that, like, I mean, obviously, see how you drag it to 47, you get, you're getting a 35 megabyte file, go down back to about 24, you're only getting an 18 megabyte file, so it's really, really up to you how much quality you are compressing into the footage, or into the final file, but it will be lost when, up, when uploaded to YouTube, so there really is no point in um, having a huge bit rate. So I usually do just 24. Um, and for 720p footage, you can even do less than 24. So I usually click use maximum render quality and then that's about it. So then you hit export and it'll start to export your footage and you're done. So all you gotta do is go to that output folder. Where is it? Tutorials. Getting started. Editing. And there you go. Editing tutorial test right there. There's our final shot. Put it together. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. 
Next episode, we'll be going over how to get a cinematic look with your footage um, in Adobe Premiere Pro for more of you advanced editors out there. So see you next time, guys. Bye.